embryo development, pregnancy and parturition. The ovarian hormones estrogen and progesterone regulate the female sexual cycle. On one hand, they exert a negative feedback on the pituitary, thereby controlling the release of gonadotropins and on the other hand modify the reproductive tract to maintain pregnancy. In the beginning, the rising level of the estrogen suppresses the release of FSH and stimulates the pituitary to secrete LH, which in turn bring in about ovulation and development of corpus luteum. During later stages, the level of progesterone increases more than estrogens. Thus, under the influence of progesterone, uterine endometrium gets modified for implanting the fertilized egg. Functions of the ovarian hormone, although estrogen in the beginning and progesterone during later stages, influence almost all the regions of the reproductive tract. The reaction on the uterus is of great significance because it is the site where an embryo develops. Progesterone acting synergistically with estrogen causes considerable swelling of the endometrium as a result of general increase in stored nutrients, glandular and vascular supply. At the end of sexual cycle, endometrium doubles its thickness reaching up to 4 to 6 millimeters. The fertilized egg will get implanted in the endometrium for further development during which it supplies nutrients to the growing embryo and later developing placental connection with it. The finger-like projections on the trophoblast called chorionic villi and uterine tissue become interdigitated with each other and jointly form a structural and functional unit between developing embryo fetus and maternal body called placenta. The placenta facilitates the supply of O2 and nutrients to the embryo and also removal of CO2 and excretory waste materials produced by the embryo. The placenta is connected to the embryo through an umbilical cord which helps in the transport of substances to and from the embryo. Placenta also acts as an endocrine tissue and produces several hormones like human chorionic gonadotropin HCG, human placental lactogen, estrogen, progestin, etc. In the later phase of pregnancy, a hormone called relaxin is also secreted by the ovary. They are produced only during pregnancy. The levels of other hormones like cortisol, prolactin, thyroxine, estrogen, and progesterone are increased production of these hormones is essential for supporting the fetal growth, metabolic changes in the mother, and maintenance of pregnancy. Immediate after implantation, the inner cell mass embryo differentiates into another ectoderm and inner endoderm between mesoderm. These three layers give rise to tissues, organs in adults. Inner cell mass contains cells called stem cells, which have the potency to give rise to all the tissues and organs. The endometrial wall increases greatly in thickness and is progressively more growth of the endometrial glands and blood vessels up to the end of this proliferative phase, the endometrial will increase 2 to 3 millimeters in thickness in case of human females. Secondary phase or progesterone phase after complete development of corpus luteum and more estrogens and progesterone are secreted. Progesterone acting synergistically with estrogen causes considerable swelling of the endometrium as a result of general increase in the stored nutrients, glandular and vascular supply. At the end of sexual cycle, Endometrium doubles its thickness, reaching up to 4 to 6 millimeters. The fertilized egg will be implanted in the endometrium for further development. 
during which it supplies nutrients to the growing and later developing placental connections with it.